Our app addresses the problem of social isolation within adolescents. Social isolation has had a negative impact on the mental health of adolescents. Some effects include severe anxiety, depression, and loneliness. Therefore, this app will provide tools and activities for users to interact with in order to lessen the side effects of social isolation. We chose to address this issue of social isolation because as we have come back to school since COVID, when we were forced to be isolated through virtual learning, the mental health among our peers has decreased drastically. The intended users for our app are adolescents suffering from social isolation or the effects it brings, like depression and anxiety. Mental health is a major issue in today's society. It affects your life in major ways like depression, suicidal thinking, loneliness, and many other things. Depression doesn't just influence you, it influences others. Things like suicide are a common occurrence in America. About 46,000 have committed suicide, and about 12 million have attempted suicide. Now I will show you how the app works. The user of the app uh, gets taken to the login screen and has to create a new account. So for example, your username could be unhappy kid, and the password could be Marilyn. Once the user clicks create new account, they get taken back to the login screen, where they have to log in with their username and password to get taken to the survey. The data the apps use comes from the user. The user answers a series of questions that the app provide and gets they get sorted into an equation which tells them the results of the survey. The code up here is the variables used, the username, password, and the scores that the user gets. This code is when the account is created to make sure that everything matches and the right user goes in the survey. The login feature allows the user to log in. The sign in feature allows the user to sign in and the different buttons get the different responses from each of the survey answers and assigns a score to them. After the user entered in their responses to the questions, the app adds the points they get and generates a response for them. So the score here asks the user to talk to a family member. If, they're, if they need more help, it's recommended to seek help. Our team needed to know which tools would be the most beneficial when helping someone deal with social isolation. We needed to know the direct effects of social isolation so we could better create our app to assist many people's needs. After we chose our topic, we had each person in our group design a page slash screen of our app. We tested it by running the app with different inputs. The improvements we made to the app was changing the colors of the app. The app started off with a darker color, but we decided that was a bad idea and changed the color of the app. One obstacle we faced was we didn't know how to get the data, but we ended up settling on a score system. This app benefits people because it gives the user a specific plan, whether it be playing games, calling the hotline, or talking to family or friends, which are designed to help them improve their social isolation side effects after they answer a list of questions regarding their emotions. Our team thinks that the solution works well because we have designed the app to help adolescents who are struggling with mental isolation, and our apps gives them more personalized outcomes, and we recommend that, that we recommend, and that we feel that it will help them best based on their answers. While working on this project, we learned about the effect that social isolation has, what questions are asked to determine mental health, and what resources are available to those who need it. Our next steps would lead us to a different programming language that would give us more freedom in the app's design and allow us to add more features.